worst thing you could ever happen to a camper would be waking up face to face with a grizzly bear. And that is why the Greater Yellowstone Coalition has partnered with the U.S. Forest Service to purchase eight bear boxes. Local News 8 Santa Miller was at Big Elk Campground near Palisades for the installation. Okay, what, what exactly are we talking about here? Bear boxes. Well, Carol, they're big metal bins to keep food and other smelly items like cosmetics and toiletries so bears won't be attracted to the campsites. When bear encounters happen, most likely food was involved. If there's food sources that are easy for them to get to, they will get there. And there's a lot of truth to a fed bear is a dead bear. The Greater Yellowstone Coalition and the U.S. Forest Service have teamed up to purchase 168 bear boxes from the National Forest. Each one costs around $850. Um, equaling about $600,000 in total over the past two years. These groups look for the success of bear populations. What we look at is three components. Protecting their core habitat, connective habitat so bears can move freely, and conflict reduction or coexistence with people. Food sources that are easy to access are one of the biggest threats to those three components. They look at our campsites more as a grocery store. Bears that become too comfortable with human food source must be removed from the population for safety, which is fish and games call. Which unfortunately means it either ends up at a zoo um, or it ends up being euthanized. It's important to follow guidelines to be bear aware. The next few months are when bears are preparing for hibernation, when they're trying to pack on calories as fast as they can. This hyperphagia time is also during hunting season. As hunters, we, we try to be quiet. We try to walk into the wind. We, we do kind of everything wrong uh, that you're taught to do. To, to be proactive in bear country. When in bear country, be aware of your surroundings and use the bear boxes. The Forest Service told me it's important to keep your camps clean. Don't dump leftovers in the fire without cleaning it and change your clothes after cooking. You don't want to go back to your tent wearing clothes that smell tasty. They say if you do come in contact with a bear, make loud noise, be as big as possible and don't turn your back on the bear. In the studio, I'm Hannah Miller. That's just enough to make me want to get a secure cabin instead. Big, thick doors. <laughs> I totally agree. Okay, thanks, Anna. Uh, remember another thing. Hike in groups, uh, make noise, and have bear spray. Come